This is a letter to myself. The date now is 10-23-2018. Uh, Just a reminder on a few things, John. One is put service first, service to others. Remember to do that. Don't think about yourself too much. That'll just, that'll, that's being taken care of by higher powers. Throw yourself on the mercy of the court. <laughs> Throw yourself on the mercy of strangers. Kindness of strangers take care of you. And forget it. And forget about Forget about yourself. That'll take care of yourself. Just think about, concern yourself with others. What you're doing for others, put service first. And always keep God as the arbitrating factor in your life. Just you know, I, this thing about quantum chemistry suddenly popped up in my mind. It used to be if you say quantum anything, this is only up to a few years ago, I think. Well, this is gradually changing. If you tack the word quantum on anything, and uh, people of a science-minded bend think or think who think they're scientifically guided <laughs> will mainly dismiss it as being something. Just word speak, techno babble. I found this. I found this to be a conceit with skeptics that they view things that they don't understand as psycho babble, rather than questioning their etymology. You know what what they what it really means. If you think something is phony, check it out. Prove it. Prove it's phony. Prove it's not phony. Prove it to yourself. Skeptics are always wanting people to prove things to themselves. And so that's made me wary, you know, because what I found is that myself and others are very quick to believe what skeptics tell us. And I, you know what I've come to understand, John? In case you forgot this, what we've learned that you really can't believe a thing a skeptic claims to be so. Never believe what a skeptic tells you. Somebody or an atheist, atheists and skeptics are intertwinable words. They both pretty much mean the same thing and are defined by the same terms. Atheist and skeptic. So don't, don't let this, don't let this bug you. What you're on basically, fundamentally, at least in the major part of it, it's quantum chemistry. So anybody that, that, that questions such a uh, doctrine or endeavor should look up the word quantum or just think about what it means. Quant, as in quantity, um, meaning of uh, the uh, quantity of something. Well, what is it? The quantum It's the quantum of everything. And it's the smallest particle. It's the infinitesimal. And this is the guiding thought, or one of the guiding thoughts of homeopathy is the infinitesimal. The, what really turned, turned me around with it on this was a quantum chemist by the name of Linus Pauling. And if you've read or heard, heard me speak prior to this, you probably have heard me talk a little bit about Linus Pauling. Linus Pauling won two Nobel, is the only guy to win two Nobel Prizes 100%. He got the first one for his work on quantum chemistry. And he got it before he graduated from high school, which is kind of a trick phrase because he didn't graduate from high school until much later when his high school degree was given to him post-mortem, <laughs> not post-mortem. Much later, after the time he graduated, because he never did graduate from high school, Washington High School in Portland, Oregon. But he did graduate from college. I guess that was back in the day when he didn't need a high school education to get into college. Just your smarts. 
don't take anything for granted that anybody tells you it's so, especially people who think they're scientifically, speaking scientifically. The antithesis, I think, I'm coming to believe, the antithesis to uh, science is philosophy. Philosopher versus the, science, the scientist. Philo meaning love, Sophie meaning wisdom. I've heard people defining scientists as meaning one who knows, but I don't find that to be the case. I think the word science comes from the word cut, to cut, S-C-I, as in scissors, as in schism. What do you think of that? So don't believe everything these scientists tell you. People that say they're sci scientists, fundamentally, they're, they really don't have a, a leg to stand on. They totally reject infant, the infinitesimal. They can't comprehend it. It's incomprehensible. They're not the only ones that can't comprehend it. But there do, do seem to be physics to the infinitesimal. So anyway, regarding love and other dangerous thoughts, if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. Let the good times roll. I think what that means is that it's not, it doesn't have to be applicable or it shouldn't be restricted to simply an amorous or romantic type love, but for love in general. In other words, love everybody you meet. It's, it's a pandemic, it's a pandemic word, love. And it should be extended to everybody, including refugees from Honduras. You know, that's kind of contemporary with the day. Most people are escape, escaping persecution. They're escaping basically what is a civil war of death and destruction, murder. It's, it's murder. Honduras is a murderous place to live. People aren't just escaping that for a better life, they're escaping to save their lives. And we should have open arms to them at the border. We shouldn't be buying this thing that, that they're dangerous. I mean, everybody, I think there's more, probably you have more danger than to your average citizen of the United States than you do from some illegal aliens. I mean, I don't know what the statistics are on that, but these people seem to be coming to us, not just in needs of the handout, but in needs of their lives. Well, I've said enough. I want to thank anybody who's been eavesdropping on this letter to myself. Thank you for, for doing that. And remember, spread the word, be loving and kind. You can't be with the one you love. You love. Love the one you're with. Spread it equally. And that's really the physician's creed. Is one of love. One of giving service to others. Ultimately. Ultimate service. Which is healing. Healing is the ultimate service. Well, thank you again for watching my video. I hope to talk to you soon. Once again.